If you're a spiritual entrepreneur struggling to get traction in your coaching or healing business, I get it and I totally get you. Because as spiritual entrepreneurs, we have heard the call. We know deep within the core of our being that we're here for a purpose, that we wanna make an impact and we wanna help and support others. We know that there's a way easier way to do this thing called life and we want to share our spiritual gifts with the world. And very likely, you know, you've already done a considerable amount of work um, to support you in your endeavors. You likely have completed and, and paid thousands of dollars to do coaching training and also business training so that you can move the needle in your business. So why is it that you're not experiencing the traction that you would have expected by now? Or maybe, you know, if you're just starting out, you could be feeling a little bit overwhelmed, wondering, you know, am I really cut out for this? Do I have what it takes? And I am here to tell you, yes, you absolutely do. And that the call that you've heard is very, very real. And I also want to remind you, and this is hugely important, is that, you know, we have done this work before in past lives and also in our ancestral lifetimes. So why is it then that we're not getting the traction that we would have expected by now? Well, very likely there's some stuff playing out beneath the surface at a subconscious level that is hindering our progress. There could well be some present life, past life, and ancestral stories, challenges, and beliefs that are playing out that we're holding onto, that are holding us back. You know, maybe we have a subconscious belief that it's not safe for us to be successful, that we may draw some pretty serious heat if we were to put ourselves out there the kind of heat that we experienced in past lifetimes. And you know what I'm talking about. Or maybe, you know, we were holding on to, at a subconscious level, a belief that um, our success will lead to a loss of freedom or a feeling of overwhelm, that it's just simply too much to do, or any other number of challenging scenarios. And as spiritual entrepreneurs and visionaries, the one thing that we absolutely cherish and is really important to us is our freedom. So, you know, what's going on then? Well, we know that the subconscious is hugely powerful. It constitutes 95% of our operating power. There's so many things that we do in an unconscious way you know, how we regulate the chemistry in our body, our breathing, and any number of other things that we do. So if the subconscious constitutes 95% of our operating power, and we have some beliefs located in there that are perhaps sabotaging our success, no amount of planning, learning, and doing that originates from the conscious mind, the 5% of our operating power, is going to be able to override those limiting subconscious beliefs. So there you have it, 5% versus 95%, who's gonna win? So that's why I created a free training to show you how you can release and let go of those present life, past life and ancestral stories and beliefs that may be sabotaging your success. As you do this, you'll be able to much more powerfully and fully embrace your spiritual gifts, transform lives, and also have your breakthrough year in business in 2020. So to reserve your spot on this free training, you can simply hop on over to my website, louise-wilson.com. And as you sign up, you'll also get a free copy of my guide, Seven Smart Strategies to Grow Your Spiritual Business. I really look forward to taking this journey with you and I wish you the very best in 2020 that you will have your breakthrough year in business. 
and many blessings to you. Bye-bye.